welcome back to the channel today's video it's probably going to be a little bit more technical i'm hoping have you ever tried this cheese i they, don't think so they look tasty what kind of what is american it? cheese it is pastru american cheese yeah <laughs> come close hey um that fly we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can find a little bit of a difference between a 45 ACP, which is this one right here, 230 grain, hollow point. If for you guys who don't know what hollow point means, hollow point means there's a hole in it. Pretty much the basic way of explaining it. The hollow points are used for a self-defense or a law enforcement cops, they use it um, once it hits you it opens up and uh, causes more damage and it doesn't over penetrate so it's kind of safe for others around technically that's my explanation i'm gonna go ahead and you uh, compare this 45 acp hollow point to a nine millimeter hollow point pretty much the same thing this one is a six hour and it's nine millimeter again 147 grain the 45 ACP is much bigger, as I said, 230 grain. Nine millimeter is much smaller, but this guy is faster and this guy is slower. So the big and the slow one and the tiny and the fast one. Let's see which one performs better. What are we gonna shoot? As you saw already, the cheese. I don't know why I got one of them only. I'm probably not gonna stop it. We're gonna give it a try anyways. That's what we're gonna shoot, uh, shoot first. The second one will be these ABS plastics, I think. That's what it is. I have three of them. We'll set them up like that. Or we we'll, might give us space between them as well. And we'll shoot it. I usually shoot three targets, but I was just kept thinking what other targets that I have to shoot. I couldn't fi uh, figure it out. If I did it during the video, we'll shoot the third target as well. If not, then I guess this is it. You ready? Ready? Let's shoot some. Let's shoot. So the first round is gonna be the nine. It's gonna be the nine millimeter out of this beautiful Glock 19. Thanks to Precise Armory for putting a gorgeous trigger in there. And then what else do I have? It's the trigger. Uh, it's extended mag release, extended slide release, and this grip, whatever you want to call it. If you're in, in need of any gun works or any weapons, any rounds, get in contact with them. They're pretty good. Jeez, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna stop it, but we're gonna shoot it anyways. Locked and loaded. Kaboom, kaboom, and... Did it stop? And... It cracked, did it stop it? So that's our entry all right in the middle. There is no exit from there, but we have this crack right down here. But I'm not gonna open it up yet. I'll shoot it with the 45 ACP, then we'll cut it in half to see which one went where and what happened. Should I shoot it from this side or same side? Same side. Alrighty, so time for the 45 ACP. And if that nine millimeter stop, I'm pretty sure this will stop too, but you never know. We are locked and loaded. Kaboom, kaboom, and... <laughs> Kaboom! Let's see what happened here. All right, that's our second round. Oh, it stopped! Come close. Uh, let me come from that side so they can see better. All right, let's see some wooden channels here, huh? I'm gonna cut it open from here. Mm, that's some good cheese. All right, so that's our, I think, 45 ACP. Look how it nicely opened up. It kind of looks our, like our nine millimeter, no? That's small, that's I think nine. that's the nine. You know what, that's the four. Let's see. I don't see any other bullets. Nine didn't, nine went through. Some from somewhere went out. Let's look at the wound channels, wait. 
So that's our 9mm coming in. Coming all the way to here, which was pretty much right there. That's That, that was the 9mm. That's that our 9. nine. 45. And the 45 goes from here and exit. That's why I'm, I don't, I'm not supposed to do any technical, technical stuff. Just have to shoot and watch what happens, I guess. We're gonna have to watch the GoPro slow motion to might be able to figure out if one of them goes through, but I don't see any bullets here. And based on the channels, look, this is our nine millimeter, comes all the way here and stops here. And that's our 45 comes all the way to here. So you probably exited from the side or or I don't know. Or, or try the cheese. This cheese is pretty good. It's a good cheese. That that's called a lead poisoning. For your information, we're gonna shoot this next. All right, we're back to our nine millimeter. The lock nineteen. I have space between those three. Um, they're about inch. I think a little bit uh, more than an inch. Where is this acting up today? Anyways. There's two holes already on the first one, but the other two in the back, they don't have any holes. If... You know what I mean. You ready? Ready. Kaboom, kaboom. And the kaboom. We are clear. All right, so that's our hole. We had some penetration. He hit the second one and did not go through. Did I get lucky? No, I did not get lucky. So yeah, it took one basically to slow it down and second one stopped it. Let's go ahead and shoot, shoot it with the 45 ACP. Maybe stops in the first one. You never know. You never know. We will see. Our second round is going to be a 45 ACP, 230 grain. I'm guessing it might actually stop on the stop on the first one. Kaboom! Kaboom! And kaboom! We got a bigger hole. If did it make it through? Barely, barely made it through. So that's the damage on the second one from the nine millimeter, and that is the damage from the 45 ACP. And the bullet gotta be somewhere around here, but you know I'm not gonna. I'm, I always say that I'm not gonna look for it, but I end up looking for it, and I never end up finding it. If that makes sense to you. For you, 45 ACP lovers. It packs a punch, but it's a slow dude, you know? It's big, but it's slow. The 9mm, it's tinier, but it's fast. When it's fast and tiny, anyways, it does better penetration, but not the bad way. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you.